So what I did want to do here is uh, dive into the daylight specific side of things and also kind of tie things together with what we just talked about. So again, basic installation, something like matte white. It's a 1.0 gain. So that 7,000 lumens that the projector is producing, we bring it to the screen, 7,000 lumens back to us. Our new element that we're talking about here would be a half angle, half angle of 60 degrees. So we're going to be intentionally confusing here if you don't know what this is because on the screen side of the AV business, we decided to standardize on half angles instead of full angles decades ago. So unfortunately, this is the case. Um, a half angle of 60 degrees means this. If I take that center point, that same point I'm measuring the gain, that 1.0 gain for the surface, how far out can I get to the side before I notice a visible dip in brightness? So what is the performance of the screen, essentially? In this case, it's 60 degrees. So that kind of ticks it out to about right there. So it's not 60 degrees this way. It's 60 degrees this way, which means it's a 120 degree cone of view. So for a room like this, where we have a pretty easy lineup, we just have some seats here on the left and the right side, we can cover everyone with a 120 degree angle. If we had something like a 30 degree half angle here instead, We'd be more like this and like that. That means you, what's your name? Alvis. Alvis would be unfortunately seeing a different level of brightness than everyone else in the room would be if we had a lower half angle on a screen like this. It does. So it's, it's basically, think of it as a cone of light going from that, that center section of the screen out to basically all angles that would be associated with viewing. Um, the only types of surfaces which would not be applicable would be ones that would be like retro-reflective. There are very few surfaces like this in the industry. Um, daylight um, has one that's like this, and it's specific for ultra-short throw for ambient light. Otherwise, everything else, you don't have to worry about if I have a tiered seating or if I have seating that's a little bit off from a flat surface like this, whether people will be able to see the half angle well. So that's, that's a great question, though. So back to Matt White here, the whys, kind of the basics here, it is designed for basic, easy projection usage. Um, it's kind of a no-frills surface. Compatible with legacy and budget projectors. Typically, you would do this on, um, you're going to keep the screen, but you're going to change out a projector, and it's going to have a budget installation. It's a good image, but typical for images with limited scope. These types of surfaces um, are available in portable, manual, and electric, electric screen products from us as well. Typical installation you would see would be like just a basic classroom like this. So. Um, you know, simple 15 to 30 person space. Um, you just need a screen and a projector. There's nothing that you're trying to achieve in terms of color, contrast, resolution. You just need a screen that's really good because you know better and you're not going to project on the wall. <laughs> and Matt White always serves that purpose. It's uh, priced uh, very competitively as well um, for that type of installation where it's a very basic utility surface for most installations.